Hey guys, Richard Ferguson here, your favorite trickster, and I'm back with your daily dose of trickery. And today we're gonna take our trickery tools and we're gonna do something devious. We're gonna do pranks in the bathroom. Hopefully you have a bathroom. In this devious bathroom prank, we're gonna have food coloring come out of the faucet. It's so simple. All you gotta do is go underneath here, get yourself the correct wrench, and you're gonna take off one of the hoses. But do not take the hose off at the bottom, take it off at the top, but before you do that, make sure you turn off the water. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So turn it to the right, make sure it's off, and then check it, make sure it is off. Then unscrew one of the hoses. Once you have the hose disconnected, pour the extra water into a cup. Then get whatever food coloring you want and put a handful of drips inside the hose and reconnect it. So the next time they turn on the water, it's gonna shoot out color. So I use some red and I only put it in the hot water line. There's two lines, the cold is unaffected. And so nothing's gonna happen until they turn on the hot water too. For this next bathroom prank, sneak into the cupboard and snag somebody's dental floss. And what you're gonna do is tie some knots in it so it cannot pull out. Let me show you the different types of flosses. Some floss containers pop apart like this and then the entire body comes out with its own little container with the cutter right there. Others pop apart like this and the entire cavity opens up. For this kind of container that comes apart, what you wanna do is pull out a whole bunch of extra string. Then what you're going to do is very carefully take it all out and then re-thread it through its entire body right here. Thread it through itself. Give yourself a good amount of distance left on each end. And what you're gonna do is tie a knot right onto the body just like this and you already know where this is going roll this back up nice and clean and reattach it to where it's supposed to go and then put this back through the top and now that it's tied in a knot onto itself you can then take off this extra and leave it just the way it's supposed to be now put this back and leave it in the cupboard and the next time someone flosses they're gonna pull and nothing's gonna happen but if they pull so hard it's just gonna pop all apart and that is the point now the type of floss that goes through its own body, you'll see there's just a small slit. So what you're gonna do is pull out a good length and tie a really good size knot, roll it back on and make sure the knot's inside. It'll look like this. Once you have your knot on there, roll it back up onto the spool, making sure that the knot goes inside and then reclose it. And now the knot will prevent it from coming out. And as before, pull off that excess so now it looks like it should. For this next bathroom prank, what you're gonna do is take out the toilet paper and leave some nice tape. Depending on the level of revenge you're pulling for this prank, you can leave this toilet paper somewhere else in the bathroom because you know this person's gonna be yelling a few minutes later or just take it out entirely. I'll leave that up to you. So imagine your brother, sister, dad, roommate, somebody's going to the bathroom. They come in here, they shut the door to do their business and they look over here when they're done and there's this. That's crazy. So at that point, again, they're probably gonna yell so you can then tell them, hey, the toilet paper's hidden in the drawer next to you or something like that, or just don't leave it at all and let them suffer. Thanks for stopping by for your daily dose of trickery. Now make sure you tune in on Thursdays for our main video. You guys, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button. And if you wanna see some pranks on either your teachers or your dad, your brothers, your sisters, anything like that, let me know down below and I'll come up a compilation video just for you. You guys, thank you so much for the love. I'll see you next week. Peace.